I'm aiming for the top. <laughs> This is Olivia Gadecki. The tennis world has been dominated by a generation of great players for years. But now, a new generation has emerged. Olivia Gadecki is one of those players. And when she says she's aiming for the top... I'd say it's number one in the world. The 21-year-old Queenslander started playing when she was very young. I first started when I was two and a half. I have four older brothers. Mum put them all into tennis and she actually thought I'd be a ballerina. But from the moment a tennis coach gave Gadecki a racket one day, she hasn't looked back. From then on, it's just been tennis, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> when she was just 18, Gadecki made tennis history. We'll get to that in a bit. Now she's competing in Grand Slam tournaments all over the world, and even knocking about with the Prime Minister. He was pretty good. He was very competitive. So who is Olivia Gadecki? The tennis player? We could well have a remarkable story developing here. And the person. Let's start with Gadecki on the court. Back in 2021, Gadecki competed in an Australian tournament called the Phillip Island Trophy. She was an unranked player at the time, and in the second round, she faced the then world number four, Sophia Kennan. Playing number four in the world, you just like want to get a couple of games. <laughs> Early on, Gadecki did get a couple of games, but Kennan still seemed in control of the match. I was like, oh, like this isn't going so well, but I was like, oh, I'll just keep going, stick at it, and hopefully I'll get my chance. Gadecki did get that chance. Not only did she take it, but she ended up winning the match. Once in a blue moon, you get a sensation, and that is what you've just witnessed. Before Gadecki's victory over Kennan, no top 10 player had been beaten by an unranked teenager since 1997. I didn't realize that was like historical, so it is pretty cool to make history in a way. <laughs> And since that match, Gadecki has been building a reputation as a player to keep an eye on. In 2023, Gadecki was awarded one of Tennis Australia's wildcard entries to the Australian Open. One of the most amazing experiences ever. In her first round, she faced Russian Polina Kudmadova, and she won. <laughs> that victory made Gadecki's first Grand Slam main draw appearance, also her first Grand Slam main draw win. And it also made her... The first Australian through to the second round of this year's Australian Open. But for Gadecki, part of what made that experience so special was that her family were there to cheer her on. My family, we've been through such a tough sort of time. My mum's sacrificed so much for us. To get that win, it was almost like I was giving back to her in a way. To have them there, it was so special. Gadecki and Mark Polmans also reached the mixed doubles semi-finals at the tournament. Which is partly why Gadecki's run at the AO last year was referred to as the dream debut. It was a dream debut, to be honest. Even looking back now at it, like it's just crazy that it even happened. Since the Australian Open 2023, Gadecki has been getting used to life as a pro player. She's been travelling around the world, competing in different tournaments, and she even qualified for the main draw of the 2023 US Open. I went in there just, you know, wanting to have some fun and it turned out to be an amazing week. But when you're an up-and-coming tennis player, life isn't necessarily as glamorous as you'd imagine. We spend a lot of time alone. You're in one place for maybe a week and then in another hotel room, another flight. I have been struggling with that side to it, just living out of a suitcase. But Gadecki knows that's just part of the job. you got to start from the bottom and it makes you appreciate the journey so much more because, you know, you've done the hard yards. And when she reflects back on 2023 more broadly, she thinks it was a pretty good year for her. I've learnt so much. I've gained so many valuable experiences and I'm just going to continue to try and use that next year. Even though she's now competed in various Grand Slams, there's still one she has a soft spot for. I will admit Australian Open is still my favourite. She was awarded another wild card to this year's Australian Open, and part of what makes it such a great tournament for her is playing in front of an Australian crowd. Playing in your home crowd is just the most amazing experience ever. I get goosebumps even just thinking about it. This is such an amazing feeling, having them behind you. With the Australian Open 2024 approaching, Gadecki has been focused on what she'd like to achieve. I'd love to go a couple of steps further than I did the last year. I'd love to, you know, follow in Ash's footsteps. And I think I'm giving myself the best possible chance and even to inspire the young ones coming through, try and be a good role model for them is just something I really pride myself on.